Strong by 3 is a stealth game where you strategically fight enemies using martial arts. This week I worked on the combat planning, the world and environment art, as well as the player movement cycle. My name is Garrett and welcome to episode 72 of Attila's Trek. In the combat planning interface you can now attack enemies in a specific order. Once you initiate combat, the player is teleported to each enemy to signal that you are attacking them. Because I haven't done any animation yet, it doesn't look that great because you kind of just stand right in front of the enemy, but in the future you will actually move towards them and grow your technique. Soon I'm also going to add the ability to select individual techniques such as round kicks and punches rather than just the default basic strike or kick. Just know that rather in most fighting games where the combat is done in real time, this game will focus on the planning aspects such as XCOM where you plan the combat beforehand and then the game does the rest for you. Next in my quest to find a good art style I looked into tune shading as well as cell shading. I followed a few different tutorials on tune shading and I got this one with four different colors depending on the direction of the main light source. I'm liking it so far and although it has room to improve I'm really enjoying using shader wrap. It turns out that Snooty HQ has a tutorial on a tune shader with multiple light sources which I will check out soon and in the meantime I will keep continuing with the different art styles. I've had a general idea of what I want the world design to look like as well and I'm trying to hone in more on that now. My original idea looked way too much like a Triforce, so I chained it up a bit with this sort of tiered hexagonal design. I'm pretty set on having three distinct sides as well as a center zone, which you can kind of see from the color outline of my model. It's not too important right now, and I especially for testing want to keep things as basic as possible, especially since I don't even have gravity for the player yet. Also, I made this basic rock in Blender just to showcase the tune shader a little bit better. I spent time working on the character movement as well, and specifically its animation movement cycle to make it a little bit more seamless. I found a tutorial that used blend trees to animate the player's movement based on its movement vector. I've never actually used blend trees before, and they're pretty cool, to be honest, how I can control the animation also based on the direction of the player. There are some hiccups with it right now, such as the Sin Machine camera working with it, as well as if you move diagonally, the player actually moves a little bit faster. Since I'm using Mixamo for the animations right now, I can't really do much to customize it, though the system as a whole has a nice start. Finally, here is an update on my Blender donut. That's all for the development of this week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next devlog for some more fun.